a good morning children today shila ma'am here for your first day of the english you have today i hope uh, you have completed your question answers word meaning and exercise 2 we will be completing the ex exercise of this lesson today and uh, we will uh, enter into your all the answers for corrections you have to copy all these exercise with your uh, word meaning question answers in your notebook that is your class work note when we are calling you for signature and correction we will be checking it out now you have to submit in your apps so that you can know that your answers are right okay children let's go back to the exercise on page 14 has in this lesson that is speak the truth you are also learning the relationship you learned that his santosh played with sandhya and who was sandhya sandhya was his cousin so you learn the relationship in this lesson then also you learned about um, santosh sister sugna so she was her, his sister so all these were showing the relationship now you have on page 14 page 14 you have this exercise 3 the words are given here children can you see in the bracket the words are given you have to fill this up those who have textbook please do it in the textbook okay the first one is my father's brother is my uncle okay that relationship is uncle my father's sister is my what will be he a she she will be aunt my father's sister is my aunt my uncles or aunts children are my they are your what cousins they become your cousins so you have the relationship given to you and it's very simple you can do that in your textbooks and those who do not have please note that now to write in your class work children i have given you on the board this question please look at the question how many cousins do you have so if you have three cousins you will write i have three cousins if you have four you have to write the numbers and write uh, in full sentence okay i have the number of cousins in my family or i have four cousins okay write their names i have given this because then as you are growing you will know that they are your cousins anybody when you ask what is the relationship of that child you will be looking then you have to tell she is my father's uh, brother sister like that full thing you have to think and tell when you have your cousin's name here listed it is in your head and your mind memory so when tomorrow you meet anyone if they ask who is that you can say she is my cousin or he is my cousin okay so that's why i asked you write their names next you have children in your textbook this quiz see this is a quiz uh, it is a puzzle like okay word puzzle it's called word puzzle so here you have the clue given on page number 16 you have the clue given here down both the sides numbers are put across you have to just fill it up understood now for example the first one is across across means it is like this down means it is like so the puzzle word puzzle is here clue is here and in the box the relationship is given so the first one is a father's sibling the number is given three children you have to find a see a father's sibling number is given you have to see from the box and fill it up and when you go do downwards the numbers are again given 
the first letter is always there so it's easy for you to go down the uh, box so it's clear children do this in your textbook you have to do this in your textbook then we go to the next exercise um, that is use the right word that is here see page number 17 you have this i have given you the answers here you will be i'll be giving you the clipping those who don't have the textbook you can do it in your uh, classwork this one the first a uh, fourth one and this one page number 17 and uh, these are the things you have to write it in your classwork the first one is i have a bath the clue is given i have bath the answer in the fill in the blanks will be every day i have bath every day i play i play every evening or because in this lesson in this particular lesson santosh played whole evening and did not do his homework so there are children who play on saturdays whole evening so if you want to write you can write i play every evening or whole evening one of them both will be accepted okay but every evening will be the right because whole evening you can play on saturday sunday the next third one is i watch the tv every night i watch the tv every night okay next is um, i pray to god sorry you have to write here children i watch the tv third one is every evening i watch the tv every evening next one is children dash i pray to god before going to bed that is every night i pray to god before going to bed every night okay next one is uh, fifth one whenever i borrow books from my friends i return it the next day the next day i return it the next day okay sixth one i don't eat every time i feel like eating so i don't eat every time see this use of every and the uh, things what we do at time okay so this is to be written in your classwork this one so which all you will do in the classwork see this one in your classwork notebook okay this one i have already given you will do it in the textbook and this also in your classwork to write in the wherever i write classwork you have to write so two exercise in uh, classwork and one in the textbook you have now go to the grammar part children grammar part you have to learn the page number 50 punctuate see here it is i put the heading grammar punctuate children what is punctuate or what is punctuation for your class both you have just to know what is punctuation in a brief way that is when do we use punctuation and what is punctuation children in english grammar we use full stop isn't it we use full stops we use comma see all these are there see we use full stop then we use comma then we use inverted commas we use question mark we use exclamatory marks so all these are used in a sentence has you learn your english grammar it is very important to know the punctuations because when you read punctuation is important when you write english sentence or a paragraph or anything you need punctuation okay now i have seen many children 
they use the capital letter that is the capital letter the capital letter in between the sentence i have seen many children children that is where you are not knowing how to use the punctuation we use the capital letter in the beginning of a sentence when do we use in the beginning of a sentence now see i have written one question here in the beginning i have used the capital letter h i don't use small letter here and again can you see anywhere i have used a capital letter no in the end i have used question this is punctuate mark so question mark okay then again capital letter i have used and the sentence a statement and then i use this punctuation so this is how we see again capital letter and then we i put a full stop here this is also a capital letter so when do we use capital letters you must know children a capital letter is used in the beginning and after full stop after the full stop this is a full stop a dot is a full stop after writing one sentence if there is a full stop the next sentence when you use again you use with a capital letter okay so you use question mark this is exclamatory comma is there you have inverted commas in this lesson these are the things that is used whenever santosh was speaking directly to his sister he was using the sentence it was put in inverted commas whenever sugna was asking or even his sister uh, his sister's name was um, what was his sister's uh, sugna sugna was asking question it was put in question mark so question form of sentence in question mark so these are all called punctuations and this is very important now you have on page 15 children see here punctuate the following paragraph in the capitals letters full stop comma and question mark your teacher will help you they have said i have already explained to you now this is the sentence given children now you see in this sentence it is just written in italics or in a cursive italics but they have not mentioned the question mark they have not mentioned the full stop now you will copy this question and you will write the heading grammar and copy this question and then you want to take a help of this punctuation it is very well given in your lesson okay now this is sugna speaking to santosh no see it is here see in this paragraph in this paragraph it is given that is it is the first paragraph of the page number 13 you can see this now you must not copy the same you have to underline the words in punctuation how will you underline now for example sugna s you will underline yes then after that there is a comma with a small underlining of the comma next you will go santosh again s so then comma now here santosh so there is a apostrophe that is you have a comma on the top so and you see in the end there is full stop and there is a question mark when she is asking so if you do this with underlining i am sure you are going to have a excellent reading and writing so this is your class work again this is your class work if you have any doubt on this particular topic please call me 
or ask the doubt in the apps. So classwork, you have three works. The first exercise, classwork. This one, this is classwork. Then you have the seventh exercise in the classwork and the fifth exercise in the grammar form classwork. It is, it is a question is given on the page uh, 13 and answer is also given in the textbook. Okay, but you must try and do it on your own in rough without copying from the textbook and also underline those all the punctuation marks neatly with a pencil little hard and submit in the homework you will get good marks okay if you copy no good marks thank you have a great day